Father, we just thank you Lord, for your presence here tonight. We thank you for your for being with us and going with us. And you where we are, you are there with us. Because you never leave us, you never forsake us. Your plan is all, always good. Uh, Tim, you were as you were talking tonight, I was reminded of something. Uh, a couple of years ago, this came counseling with, with a couple of people that really struggled letting go of the past. And the Holy Spirit says, tell them that healing is on the path, not the past. Because every time you turn around, look at it. There you go. We're leaving the moment. We're headed in the wrong direction. Now, I'm not saying that sometimes we don't have to visit that and get healing. We do. But when, we, when, we, when that's where we live, how you never going to move on? When you're living back there and all the things are happening, um, you turn around and it looks that way. 
So forward is on your path. On your path. Is it in? Yeah. Walking in the steps that he has ordained for you. Remember this. The, the word says man makes his plans. But God ordains the way. Mm. And he causes all the things around us to work together for good. Tim, there was a few of us that are really kind of, I mean, we should be used to this stuff. We've been functioning here in a prophetic realm for, since we opened it. We've had many words spoken over this ministry, spoken over people. We've had uh, many amazing uh, gifted speakers. It just, it's always like the first time when you get a word that meets you right where you are. You know, what, what you brought tonight wasn't just for individuals, it's for this whole ministry. And I know there's some, some people that were struggling with, um, they wanted to get mad at the guy that pulled on mortgage. No. Sometimes it's messy. It's messy when God changes seasons sometimes. And sometimes when we, we resist it, and we don't, we don't, we're not trusting what God is doing and saying, you got, you've got all things in your hands and all things are in your control. And, you know, you can't release it. And sometimes it gets messy if you stay in that spot where we're not supposed to be anymore. Anybody ever been there? Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Money Boots. So Tuesday is going to be the last time we meet in this building as Joseph's house. So I encourage you to come out and um, we'll pray and thank the Lord for what he's done here because what he has done here is miraculous. Thousands of people that year. The kingdom grew. Bridges were made. Relationships were made. Kingdom relationships. People were healed. People were came out of darkness into the light. I mean, it just goes on and on. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of things about it. Things that I know we won't even realize until after the fact. Until after we left this season and moved to the next. And we, you know, those are good things to look behind that. You know, all that the Lord has done. Um, you know, there's people here, we were talking about this, there's people here from probably five to ten different churches. And that's, that's the community that's here. That's the community here. It's the family that we go to. So I'm really excited about uh, it. It kind of jumpstarted. Really Has anybody else, did they kind of turn down the dimmer switch and say, well, I'll just circle the wagon and wait till he comes back? Mm -hmm. I, I, I kind of did that. Think about it. I kind of, I kind of did. Lord speaks a better word, better word, better word over me.
It's our 